If you've struck a deal with a marketplace seller for a product or package of products, this video will show you how to receive and process a private offer. The seller will create a private offer and you, the customer, may accept and purchase that offer. Hello, I'm David Starr and in this video we're going to take a look at the entire purchase flow process. Let's see what we'll cover in this module. First of all, there are a couple of steps involved in purchasing a private offer and we'll walk through them together. The first step is for the customer to accept the offer and we'll see how to do that. Lastly, the customer needs to purchase the offer and we'll have a demo of this process as well. So with that, let's get started. We're going to start by briefly looking at the overall flow of purchasing a private offer. So what are the steps to taking advantage of a private offer? Well, one is that you might get an email from the seller which contains a link to the private offer. Now in this scenario, just follow the link to complete the process. Alternatively, once you know the seller has created the private offer, you can find it in a special area of the Azure portal that we'll look at in just a few moments. Once you have access to the private offer, the first step is to accept it. This is essentially acknowledging that you agree to purchase the private offer and is not the process of purchasing and deploying the software. That comes next. The private offer will contain one or more products to deploy and doing so is the final step in the process. The two steps mentioned, accepting and purchasing the private offer, may be done by the same person, but often more than one person is involved. To accept the offer, the person performing this step must either be an admin of the enterprise agreement with Microsoft or owner of the billing account for the account being used to accept the offer. Now, to purchase the offer, the person performing the purchase and deployment must have contributor or owner permissions on the Azure subscription being used. It's important to have these required roles in place before starting the acceptance process. That's certainly preferred. Otherwise, you'll get paused along the way in your purchase process. Now, one person may both accept and purchase the private offer if they have the permissions required to do so. And with that, let's take a look at how these steps are performed. First, we'll look at accepting a private offer. Recall this is the first stage and must be done prior to purchasing or deploying the software. To start with purchasing your private offer, you need to find it within the Azure portal. And to do that, we can simply look up the Marketplace service, select it from our dropdown, and in the left hand menu, select Private Offer Management. Here we can see the offer that's been created for us, Contoso for Fabricam, and I'm the Fabricam employee who is going to accept this offer. And in doing so, I can view and accept the offer, which takes me to a page that shares details about the offer we definitely want to pay attention to. For example, we can see the private offer term. This tells us the start date of the offer and the end date of the offer. And under private offer details, we can see that the offer is valid for purchase or acceptance until September 1st. And after that, the offer will no longer be available. Any questions that you might have, you can reach out to the individual who created this private offer. And next, you can see the line item that's actually in this private offer, which consists of one SaaS product. Now, there could be more products in here. You can have multiple line items, but in this case, we just have the one. We can see that Contoso has added an attachment or addendum to the standard terms and conditions agreement. I can read that and make sure that I'm okay with it. Now, after having looked at all of these details, I'm ready to accept the offer. And to do that, I simply select I have read the offer's terms and conditions and accept the offer. Once that's complete, I'm taken back to the private offer management 
dashboard. And here I can see that the offer is no longer waiting to be accepted, but I can view the offer and the details associated with it should I choose to do so. So I could revisit that page with all the details about the offer. Next, we'll see how to purchase a private offer. Let's have a look at that process. Now I'm going to play the role of the person actually deploying the software, making the purchase and doing that deployment. We can see here that we could go in and view the offer, but there's nothing here about acceptance anymore, and that's because the offer has already been accepted. Before moving to the purchase process itself, I'll mention that if you don't have permissions to make the purchase or you need help in getting them, you can copy this link and send it to the person most appropriate in your organization to make the purchase or to give you those rights. Now, we can move down to our single SaaS line item and go through the purchase process. Now, the first thing you may notice is that this looks a lot like deploying any other service into Azure, which perhaps you've done before. So I need to choose a resource group in which to place my SaaS instance. And in this case, uh, we'll just give it the name Fabricam01. Here you can see that I've been given the opportunity by the seller to choose either one or three year subscription. Now, both are priced at zero dollars because this is a demo and I don't want to charge anything during a demo. But this is also per seat pricing and I can choose to add my number of users here in this dialogue. With that, I can leave on recurring billing or turn it off and then it's time to review and subscribe. I can once again review my offer before hitting the subscribe button. Let's go ahead and subscribe to this offer and it will take just a moment to deploy. Let's see what happens. The SaaS offer is currently in the process of deploying and once it completes that process, the configure account now button will activate for us. Great, now that we've completed deployment of our SaaS offer, we would typically go to the configure account now button, click it, and this would take us to the publisher's landing page where we might configure some additional information the publisher might need in order to create our account within their SaaS product. Just realize that if it happens to be a SaaS offer you're purchasing, you do need to go through that step. And with that, we've actually made the purchase of the product and that completes our purchase and deployment process. Here's a quick recap of what we covered. We saw the steps involved in purchasing a private offer and the permissions needed to do so. Accepting the offer was step one and you saw a demo of that process. And finally, we saw that purchasing the offer is a separate step that must be completed and you saw a demo of that process as well. Thank you for joining us for another video from Mastering the Marketplace the learning library where technologists go to get their offer on the Microsoft Marketplace. For more videos, hands-on labs, and sample code, find us at aka.ms slash mastering the marketplace.